Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Houdini, free version, and Deep Hyrax. Time control is 30 minutes on the clock each. Houdini had white pieces and the game started with d4. I will not show you the whole game, just opening moves and the highlights. Game was very long and there was lots of maneuvering and I don't want you to fall asleep. If you wish to see the whole game, you are welcome to do so. Game description is provided. Knight to f6. Knight to f3. e6. Bishop to f4. b6. e3. Bishop to b7. Bishop to d3. c5. Houdini castled kingside. Bishop to e7 c4. If c3 is played, we would have a London system. Houdini's move is more ambitious. c4. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes on d4. Pawn takes pawn on d4 is equally good. d6. Threat is e5. Bishop to g3, a6, preventing knight to b5, knight to c3, knight from b to d7, rook to c1, high arcs castled kingside, f3, and now knight to e5, and white has a chance to capture the knight and to double black pawns. Bishop to e2 was played. If bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, and now knight to c2 or b3, then queen to c7, queen to e2, knight to d7, and after rook from f to d1, f5, and black is doing well. So in the game, Houdini played bishop to e2, rook to c8, attacking the pawn on c4, b3 defending, knight to g6. It is about equal. Now we have cautious maneuvering by both sides. And from here, we'll jump to the critical position of the game, at move 27. Actually, move 28. Black played king to g8. It is white to move. We have reached critical position of the game. Houdini calculated 13 full moves ahead. And he captured pawn on e6 with knight. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. And now if pawn takes knight, then bishop takes pawn on e6 and Houdini is winning. Houdini calculated that this is the mine variation in Houdini's calculation. Houdini predicted queen to e5. Instead, Hierarchs captured bishop with rook on c4, and that is stronger than queen to e5. Pawn takes rook, and now pawn takes knight. Knight to e2. 
Knight will position itself to attack the pawn on a6. Knight to e5. Knight to f4. King to f7. Knight to d3. Knight takes knight. And rook takes knight. Dust has settled. And black is better. Black has two pieces for the rook and a pawn. White has two weak pawns. Pawn on c4 and pawn on a4 are very weak. Black also has a weak pawn. From here we'll jump to position to move 49. In this position Hyrax captured the pawn on c4 and now after 49 moves Black's advantage has increased. Black has two passed pawns on the queen side. Queen to b8 was played, attacking the pawn on b6. Queen to c1, attacking the rook. Check. King to g6. Rook to d6, attacking the bishop. And now instead of moving the bishop, Hyrax captured the pawn on f3. How should white continue? What would you do? Would you capture bishop with rook on a6 or would you capture pawn with pawn on f3? Taking bishop is wrong move. This would be the continuation. Queen to c2 check. And after king takes pawn, check and black is winning the rook. So in the game Houdini captured pawn on f3. Queen to b2 check. King to g1. b5. f4. Queen to c1 check. King to g2. Queen to c4. King to g1, bishop to d5, attacking queen, queen to e7, queen is staying close to black king, check, king to f2, queen to d2, check, king to f1, bishop to c4, check, King to g1. Black queen is getting closer to white king and he is not happy about it. But nothing can be done. Check. King to h1. Bishop to e2. Threat is bishop to f3. Checkmate. Rook takes knight. Pawn takes rook f5 check king takes pawn and now this is a very interesting move by Houdini queen to e4 check is Houdini designing no he plays the last trick if king takes queen it's a stalemate Hyarx played king to g5 Queen to g2, check. Queen takes queen. King takes queen. b4. And Houdini resigned. Let's go back to move 27. Actually, move 28. In this position, Houdini calculated 13 moves ahead and played knight takes pawn on a6. But it looks like that uh, Hyrax was better at calculations. It was very tough and interesting game, wasn't it? 
And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.